Hola, Romy here. And I have a very important question to ask you. Are you ready? Huh. What sound does a cow make? Moo. <laughs> okay. This is a vaca. Cow in Spanish is vaca with a V. Va -ca. Vaca. So, ¿qué sonido hace una vaca? What sound does a vaca make? In Spanish, the word for the animal might sound totally different, but the sounds they make are going to be the same. <coughs> so, a vaca makes a moo sound. Good job! What sound does an oveja make? Sheep in Spanish is oveja. Oveja. ¿Qué sonido hace una oveja? Ba. Ba. ¿Qué sonido hace un pato? Duck in Spanish is pato. ¿Qué sonido hace un pato? Quack, 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 quack. ¿Qué sonido hace un perro? Dog in Spanish is perro. ¿Qué sonido hace un perro? ¿Qué sonido hace un pollito? Chicks in Spanish are pollitos. What sound does a pollito make? ¿Qué sonido hace un caballo? Horse in Spanish is caballo. ¿Qué sonido hace un caballo? ¡Nay! <laughs> See, the sound that the animal makes is all the same in English and in Spanish, but the word for the animal is what changes, like dog, perro, cow, vaca. Speaking of, where do all of those animals live? Hmm. On a farm, en una granja. Farm in Spanish is granja. Granja. Do you want to explore a granja with me today? Sí. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Do you want to learn a Spanish song about a farm animal with me? Yeah! yeah! This one is about a cow, and it's called La Vaca Lola, yeah! or Lola the Cow. So some words you need to know first are vaca. Cow in Spanish is vaca. Cabeza. Head in Spanish is cabeza. Cabeza. And tail, you know, on the back of an animal, a tail is a cola. Cola. Cabeza, cola. Okay, the song goes like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. La vaca lola, la vaca lola. Tiene cabeza y tiene cola y hace mu. <laughs> okay, you want to sing it with me? Yeah! You got it. You got it. It's easy. A one, a two, a one, two. Three, four. La vaca lola, la vaca lola tiene cabeza y tiene cola y hace. Good job! Let's do it again now. One more time. Ready? One, two, one, two, three. La vaca lola, la vaca lola tiene cabeza y tiene cola y hace. Do you know what a granja is for? What a farm is for? Hmm. It's to grow food and animals. So we already met some animals that live on a granja. What kind of food grows on a granja? Corn, maíz. Carrots, zanahoria. Lettuce, lechuga. Potatoes, papas. Tomatoes, tomates. Those are all foods that are grown on a granja. Now let's learn them in Spanish slower, okay? Corn is maíz, maíz. Carrots are zanahoria. 
Lettuce is lechuga. Le ch ga Lechuga. Potatoes are papas. That one's easy. And tomatoes are tomates. Tomates. It's kind of similar. Tomato, tomate. Do you want to help me count how many zanahorias are ready to be picked? Yeah! See? Zanahorias are carrots. Zanahorias. Let's count them while learning Spanish, okay? One. Uno. Two. Dos. Three. Tres. Four. Cuatro. Five. Cinco. Cinco zanahorias. Five carrots were ready to be picked. Now let's do it again, putting them back in, but let's do it just in English, okay? One, two, three, four, five, five carrots. Now let's pick the five carrots in Spanish only, okay? Uno, uno, one. I'll help you a little bit. Dos, dos, two. Tres, tres, three. Cuatro, cuatro. Cinco. Cinco zanahorias estaban listos para comer. Can you help me name the farm animal, but using only the Spanish name for the farm animal? I'll help you, don't worry. Okay, let's do it. What animal is this? A vaca. Vaca is cow, remember? Yay! What about this one? Un caballo. Caballo is horse. Nay! <laughs> Oveja. Oveja is sheep. You got this. Yeah! This one is a pato. Quack, quack. Pato is duck. Yeah! And these are pollitos. Pollitos are chicks. Yeah! Thank you for learning and playing with me on the granja. See you soon. Hasta luego! ¿Dónde va el cuadrado? Where does the square go? Square in Spanish is cuadrado. 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 ¿Dónde va el cuadrado? The square. Yeah! Ahí va. Muy bien. Good job. ¿Dónde va el triángulo? Where does the triangle go? Triangle in Spanish is triangulo. Triangle, triangulo. They sound really similar, but they're both kind of hard to say in English and in Spanish. So where does the triangulo go? In the first one, the second one, this one. Yeah! Ahí va el triangulo. Okay. ¿Dónde va la estrella? Where does the star go? Star in Spanish is estrella. This is a pretty estrella. So where does the estrella go? In the first one, the second one, the third one, or the fourth one? Yay! Ah. Yeah! Cuadrado, triángulo, and estrella 
all have something in common. They are all shapes. Shapes in Spanish are formas or figuras. Either word works. And we have shapes everywhere. Just look around. Behind me, we have rectángulos, rectangles everywhere. Rectangle in Spanish is rectángulo. Those sound really similar. And if you look around, I'm sure you will see rectángulos everywhere you look. Your doors in your house are rectángulos. Picture frames are usually rectángulos. Windows are mostly rectángulos. If there's a rug on your floor, it's probably a rectángulo. If you have a playmat, that's probably a rectángulo too. A TV screen is a rectángulo. Our homes are full of rectángulos. Hold on, I'm thirsty. Mm. Look at this. That's a shape too. Ooh. What shape is round like that? Redonda. A circle. Un círculo. Circle in Spanish is círculo. And it's a shape too. And there are círculos in a lot of places you'll see around your house as well. Where might you see a círculo? We already saw one in my cup. Where else would you see a círculo? Hmm. On the wheels of your car. Yes, in las ruedas de tu carro, coche, or auto, depending how you say it. That's right. Wheels, ruedas, are round. Where else would you see something round? Our eyes, yes, oh. the color part of our eyes is round. It's a circle, it's a círculo. The stoplights on the street, yeah. those are círculos too. The green light, the yellow light, and the red light are all círculos. Also, if you're eating something, usually your plate, tu plato, is a círculo. Two. So look down next time you eat and see if your plate is a círculo. How many sides does a cuadrado have? Huh. Let's count them, okay? One, two, three, four. Let's count them in Spanish now. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. A cuadrado has cuatro lados. Oh. A square has four sides. Let's do it one more time in English and Spanish. So it's one, uno, two, dos, three, tres, four, cuatro. Good job. <laughs> How many sides does a triangle have? Hmm. Let's count them in English first. It's one, two, three. Three sides. Now in Spanish, it's uno, dos, tres. Three, tres sides. Let's do it one more time in both languages, okay? One, uno, two, dos, three, tres. Un triángulo tiene tres lados. Yeah. A triangle has three sides. Let's draw a cat using the shapes that we just learned, okay? Yee. But first, cat in Spanish is gato. G -g -ga -t 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 gato. What sound does a gato make? Meow. Meow. Let me hear you. Good job. Okay, let's draw a gato. Yeah. I'm using circles for the head and eyes and triangles for the nose and ears and some whiskers which are just lines and there, a gato. So what is your favorite shape? 
Is it a círculo, a triángulo, a cuadrado, an estrella? Hmm. Mine too. Could you guess it? Un corazón, a heart. A heart is a shape too. And in Spanish, heart is corazón. It's a long word, but it's a beautiful word. And it's my favorite shape. Un corazón, corazón, a heart. Thank you for learning and playing with me today. I will see you all very soon. Hasta luego. Hola amigos y amigas, did you see that? What do all of those things have in common? Look closely. They all have wheels. Wheels in Spanish are ruedas. Ruedas. D -d 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 -das. Ruedas. Ruedas. Let's check out more things that have ruedas. Do you have one of these? A stroller? Stroller in Spanish is cariola or cochecito. Do you have a cochecito or cariola? Yeah! Or one of these, a bicycle? Sí. Bicycle in Spanish is bicicleta. Bicicleta. Bicycle, bicicleta. They're kind of similar, right? What other things have ruedas, wheels? <laughs> hmm. A scooter, that's right, a scooter has two wheels or three wheels. A shopping cart, a shopping cart at a supermarket or grocery store. Good eye! A shopping cart has four wheels, four ruedas. Two in the front and two in the back. Do you ever ride in the shopping cart in the part that has a seat in it? So you can just kind of look around and be pushed around by your mama or papa? Yeah! Yeah? Okay, let's think of other things with ruedas that are bigger bigger than a bicicleta and a scooter and a shopping cart. What comes to mind? Hmm. A car! A car has big ruedas. Ooh. It has two in the front and two in the back. So it has four ruedas. Car in Spanish can be called a couple different things. It can either be called a carro, a coche, or an auto, depending on where you're from. Carro, coche, or auto. They all mean car. <laughs> oh, oh, a garbage truck. Un camión de basura. This one's got really big ruedas, right? Okay, garbage in Spanish is basura, and truck in Spanish is camión. So a garbage truck is a camión de basura. Camión de basura. does a horn make? Beep beep! <laughs> okay, now what sound does a horn make in Spanish? Hmm. It's a trick question. It still goes beep beep! Oh. Horn in Spanish is bocina. B, B, bo, si, na, bocina. And a bocina is the same as a horn. They make the same sound even though the words horn and bocina are different in English and in Spanish. The sound they make is the same. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Speaking of horns and wheels, I know a song about a bus, un bus, that has wheels and it has a horn and it has other things on it as it goes around the town. Oh. Do you know what song it is? Yeah! The wheels on the bus. Yeah. Good job! Do you want to sing it? Yeah! Okay, let's do it! 
The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. Good job! Okay, do you want to sing it in Spanish? Sí. I promise it's not that hard and I'll help you, okay? I'll be there with you the whole way and then you'll know how to sing it in Spanish too, okay? Let's do it. I'm gonna go really slow, so just try to follow along. Las ruedas del bus dan vueltas y vueltas, vueltas y vueltas, vueltas y vueltas. Las ruedas del bus dan vueltas y vueltas por toda la ciudad. That's the wheels on the bus go round and round. Dar vueltas y vueltas is go round and round. The next part is about the horn, the bocina. La bocina del bus hace pip, 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 pip. La bocina del bus hace pip, 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 por toda la ciudad. Okay, let's do those two verses together a little bit faster, okay? And if you can't follow along, just sing it in English. A one, a two. One, two, three, four. Las ruedas del bus dan vueltas y vueltas, vueltas y vueltas, vueltas y vueltas. Las ruedas del bus dan vueltas y vueltas por toda la ciudad. La bocina del bus hace pip, 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 pip. La bocina del bus hace pip, pip, pip por toda la ciudad. Yeah! yeah. Good job. I mean, there's more parts too. You want to hear more? Yeah. yeah! Las puertas, the doors, las puertas del bus se abren y cierran, abren y cierran, abren y cierran. Las puertas del bus se abren y cierran por toda la ciudad. Can you guess what abren y cierran means? The doors on the bus go open and shut. Abren y cierran. Open and shut. Okay, another part is las personas, the people. Las personas en el bus van arriba y abajo. Arriba y abajo. Arriba y abajo. Las personas en el bus van arriba y abajo por toda la ciudad. Can you guess what arriba y abajo means? Up and down. The people on the bus go up and down. Arriba y abajo. Okay, what else? Los bebés, the babies. Los bebés en el bus lloran. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Los bebés en el bus lloran. Wah, wah, wah. Por toda la ciudad. That one's easy. The babies on the bus cry. Wah, wah, wah. You get it. Okay, another easy one. Las mamás en el bus dicen shh, 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 shh. Las mamás en el bus dicen shh, 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 por toda la ciudad. Mamás, mamas, shh, shh. It's the same in both languages. Okay, let's do the whole thing. Yeah? You got this. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Las ruedas del bus dan vueltas y vueltas, vueltas y vueltas, vueltas y vueltas. Las ruedas del bus dan vueltas y vueltas por toda la ciudad. Now the doors, the puertas. Las puertas del bus se abren y cierran, abren y cierran, abren y cierran. Las puertas del bus se abren y cierran por toda la ciudad. Now the people, las personas, up and down, arriba y abajo. Las personas en el bus van arriba y abajo, arriba y abajo, arriba y abajo. Las personas en el bus van arriba y abajo por toda la ciudad. The horn, the bocina. La bocina en el bus hace pip, 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 pip. La bocina en el bus hace pip, pip, pip por toda la ciudad. Los bebés de babies. Los bebés en el bus lloran wah 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 wah. Lo 
los bebés en el bus lloran guau, 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 por toda la ciudad. Y las mamás, las mamás en el bus dicen shh, 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 las mamás en el bus dicen shh, 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 por toda la ciudad. You did it! Yay! Yeah. Round of applause. Way to go. That's a really hard one. And you did it! Ruedas, wheels, are really important to help things move from place to place. And there are big ruedas, like on a camión de basura, a garbage truck. Or there are tiny ruedas, like on a little toy car. Thank you for learning and playing with me today. It's been so fun and I will see you soon on Hola Romy. I know a song about a bus, un bus, that has wheels and it has a horn and it has other things on it as it goes around the town. Oh. Do you know what song it is? Yeah! The wheels on the bus! Yeah. Good job! Do you want to sing it? Yeah. yeah! Okay, let's do it! The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Good job! Okay, do you want to sing it in Spanish? Sí. I promise it's not that hard and I'll help you, okay? I'll be there with you the whole way and then you'll know how to sing it in Spanish too, okay? Let's do it. I'm going to go really slow, so just try to follow along. Las ruedas del bus dan vueltas y vueltas, vueltas y vueltas, vueltas y vueltas. Las ruedas del bus dan vueltas y vueltas por toda la ciudad. That's the wheels on the bus go round and round. Dar vueltas y vueltas is go round and round. The next part is about the horn, the bocina. La bocina del bus hace pip, 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 pip. La bocina del bus hace pip, 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 por toda la ciudad. Okay, let's do those two verses together a little bit faster, okay? And if you can't follow along, just sing it in English. A one, a two. One, two, three, four. Las ruedas del bus dan vueltas y vueltas, vueltas y vueltas, vueltas y vueltas. Las ruedas del bus dan vueltas y vueltas por toda la ciudad. La bocina del bus hace pip, 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 pip. La bocina del bus hace pip, pip, pip por toda la ciudad. Yeah! yeah. Good job. I mean, there's more parts too. You want to hear more? Yeah. yeah! Las puertas, the doors, las puertas del bus se abren y cierran, abren y cierran, abren y cierran. Las puertas del bus se abren y cierran por toda la ciudad. Can you guess what abren y cierran means? The doors on the bus go open and shut. Abren y cierran. Open and shut. Okay, 
Another part is las personas, the people. Las personas en el bus van arriba y abajo, arriba y abajo, arriba y abajo. Las personas en el bus van arriba y abajo por toda la ciudad. Can you guess what arriba y abajo means? Up and down. The people on the bus go up and down. Arriba y abajo. Okay, what else? Los bebés, the babies, los bebés en el bus lloran. Wah, 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 wah. Los bebés en el bus lloran. Wah, 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 por toda la ciudad. That one's easy. The babies on the bus cry. Wah, wah, wah. You get it. Okay, another easy one. Las mamás en el bus dicen shh, shh, shh. Las mamás en el bus dicen shh, 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 por toda la ciudad. Mamás, mamas, shh, shh. It's the same in both languages. Okay, let's do the whole thing. Yeah? You got this. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. One, two, one, two, three, four. Las ruedas del bus dan vueltas y vueltas, vueltas y vueltas, vueltas y vueltas. Las ruedas del bus dan vueltas y vueltas por toda la ciudad. Now the doors, the puertas. Las puertas del bus se abren y cierran, abren y cierran, abren y cierran. Las puertas del bus se abren y cierran por toda la ciudad. Now the people, las personas, up and down, arriba y abajo. Las personas en el bus van arriba y abajo, arriba y abajo, arriba y abajo. Las personas en el bus van arriba y abajo por toda la ciudad. The horn, the bocina. La bocina en el bus hace pip, 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 pip. La bocina en el bus hace pip, pip, pip por toda la ciudad. Los bebés de babies. Los bebés en el bus lloran wa 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 los bebés en el bus lloran wa 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 por toda la ciudad y las mamás las mamás en el bus dicen las mamás en el bus dicen por toda la ciudad you did it Round of applause. Way to go. That's a really hard one. And you did it. Thank you for learning and playing with me today. It's been so fun and I will see you soon on Hola Romy. Mm -hmm.